star child. It says the light of the star exists in you. The earth wants you to share that light with humanity. You are asked to understand that you are meant to be here, that you have spiritual work to accomplish. Give up the idea that you belong somewhere else to another home in the stars. Instead, let the starlight of your inner being shine here on earth where it shall make such a positive difference in the world. Fall in love with earth's beauty. She can and will support you in all ways. Have you been dreaming of other places you would prefer to be? Are you wondering if there is more to life on this planet than suffering and struggle? Perhaps you know you have a mission, yet you doubt that you can succeed. Perhaps you love your life here, but yearn to experience the spiritual purity that exists in the higher vibe fields of the stars. You may feel like a tourist in need of a fix of your home language to endure adapting to a very different world. Ground yourself here on earth enables you to fulfill your life mission. You cannot accomplish this without feeling that you belong here. Your feet need to be planted on the earth. Relax and trust that you're meant to be here. You have a special light to share and a particular spiritual vibration to live so that the quotient of embodied spiritual light on the earth increases. You are part of an important team of spiritual beings working to assist humanity to grow spiritually. <sighs> Excuse me. The challenge for a starseed soul is to accept human beings as they are without despairing over the darker side. The violence may frighten you, but your love will help humanity learn to use that violence to dismantle old structures and create new ways of being. It can be channeled to energize humanity with a can-do attitude towards creating a more loving and functional world. Remember, you came to this planet to learn and to help others heal. You agreed to take this journey because you can assist both Earth and humanity to evolve their frequency. It's possible, and you're helping make it so. There are three truths that will help you embrace your journey on this planet. Firstly, you, ca you carry the purity of your star ancestry in your heart. You can return through meditation or relaxation at any time. You often return to your starborn home during sleep. The loved ones from that place are very aware of your journey here and are helping every step of the way. They send you frequencies from home like divine care packages, which fuel you for your earthly tasks. Secondly, you're all you're so filled with love that you're capable of loving all this planet. You have compassion for those who are very wounded and fearful and at times act out, out in ways of violence, cruelty, and ignorance. Now the human capacity for courage, compassion, and light is increasing. Your work as part of the team of light-loving beings is already having an effect. Thirdly, as a star seed, seated being, you have special resources for your journey here on Earth. Your, every spiritual request and need will be met by a loving team of helpers. You get to have a lot of fun in your healing mission if you so choose. It, does, it doesn't only have to be hard work, though of course sometimes it will be. Just remember that the stars shine with joy in the sky, and you can shine as a star with joy upon the earth. This is your nature. This is how you can best fulfill your life mission. See? So this is your life mission and don't let people say it ain't because I know that's what I meant to do. I'm a star child. I'm an Aquarian. That's what we're meant to do. And we, I mean, people can believe us and go, get with the program. That's what we're wanting. And, they, and if they don't, then they don't. Ain't that how you guys see it? That's how I see it. Hang on. Now let me do these uh, Angels of Atlantis and see what comes out for us today, you guys. What's the Angels of Atlantis want to tell us? Oh, wow. Compassion. Ooh, you're getting some compassion at the moment. You just got that loving energy. Um, uh, you know how to show empathy towards others. Uh, you got a fiery passion on the inside of you, yeah. And liberation, you liberated yourself from certain structures and things in life that no longer fitted for you. And you said, bye-bye, I'm a free bird, yeah. Look out, hey. You're liberated, and look here, what's going to happen? Abundance, abundance, look. 
you know how to alchemize abundance in your life and uh, that's that's good that's special not everybody can do that and maybe you're trying to teach others that yes you can do this from a pure loving heart star child star children you're liber you're you're very compassionate you're liberating yourself towards abundance and divine intelligence that's where your abundance lies people think that maybe you're rich 525 i just found a feather on 525 and i love that feather god and i found one on 111 yesterday <laughs> But, you know, I'm using my divine intelligence because God gave this gift to all of us. And if you tap into it, well, then you know you got a divine mind. And that's what you need to use. You need to use that studying and to help people. Study, study, study. Keep studying. Keep studying, star children. And what about compassion? Oh, mercy. See, look here. See, the angels is granting mercy to you because of all the hardships you had under... You went through, like it said, these star children had to live through violence, abuse, sexual, mental, physical, but it's all right. Uh, Divine's showing mercy upon you because you're 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 compassionate and and they're liberating you because you're a joy. Look here, that's my name, oh honey joy over here. Remember me? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's my name, Honey Joy, and, uh, what else? You're very abundant. You're just a joy to be around, and you're balanced. See? That's how you're abundant, you're balanced in your life. In your physical, your mind, body, and soul is all balanced. That's what that means, and Gabriel's helping you with that. And divine intelligence. What about divine intelligence wanting to tell us? That we're getting all this divine intelligence from earth force. See, we go outside, we plant our feet in the ground, and we're, that's how we get our downloads. Outside, that's how we get our divine intelligence. And I took a picture of the moon the other night, full moon, and I can't wait to show y'all. <laughs> but I don't know how to upload it. I done told y'all, so I ain't going to have to teach me how to do it. I don't have a community board. So maybe I have to get a thousand people before I get community board. But when I do, I'm going to show you it's showed witches. If you zoom it, stir it in a pot. But it was the moon. I can't wait to show y'all. I can't wait to show you. can't wait to show you. I use my divine mind. And I'll tell you when I see those symbols and things, okay? Okay, now we're going to use this one. I want to see what Star Children ones come out today. Who is the Star Children? This is a bow spirit. Let's see, we'll tell us right here who it's about. Aquarius. <laughs> we know it's about Aquarians. We all know that. We all know that. We all know it's more than Aquarians, though. Okay, now I got them all here. I got them all here because I had them on top. And I know they're all here. Hey, Spirit. Who is, who is the star children today? A Scorpio. Who is these star children today? Oh, a Sagittarius. Yeah, the house of faith. Look her. Spirit. Who is the star children spirit? Who are these star children spirit? Who are the star children? Oh, Libra balance. Balance twice. You're balanced. You're very balanced. Don't you think it? You ain't. Not to two. Look up them numbers. Oh, wow. Pisces. Pisces, you're a star child. Ooh, and a, and a Taurus and a Quartus. Okay, that's all we'll get six. All right, so we'll leave him laying like this. So you could be a Scorpio and Sagittarius cusper. And 
You could be a, an Aquarius and a Pisces cusper, and a, that's all the cusper in it. No, and you could be a Libra and Scorpio cusper. So the only one that didn't have cusper out here was Taurus, okay? The only one that didn't. All right. <coughs> Spirit, can we have a message for Scorpio? Investigate. Well, we need to investigate, Spirit. Well, we need to investigate, throw it out, Spirit, throw it out. Well, we need to investigate, throw it out. Spirit, I can't have 20. Hang on, y'all. Them cards is all mixed around, and I don't care. I'm just going to wait and walk out, okay? I can't take all of them. I'm going to take these over here, okay? Ooh, okay, so you came to the edge. It says come to the edge. So, 11-11. Twin flames, I love you. Store children. See, that's what we are. It feels like you had to come to the edge in your life at a certain point, and you're scared about taking that leap, maybe, Scorpio, but... It's telling you that the earth wants to, that you, that you did because you started co-creating with the universe and you started cleaning it up. You started cleaning up your insides to show up better as a healed individual on the outside. Yeah. So, you've been investigating somebody's maybe spiritual awakening or you're going through a spiritual awakening, but you're noticing things at the moment. And what about Sagittarius expand? What about what about Sagittarius expand? What about Sagittarius expand? Time for a nap. So you've been resting and rejuvenating, and that's good to do that because you'll get downloads in your sleep. Okay, Sagittarius, you do need to take naps and take care of yourself. Yes, you do. Oh, look here what you got. Oh, look here. Time for a nap, Sagittarius. Look, this is about loyalty. Loyalty and going to the wishing well. Maybe you've made a wish and it's getting ready to come true. Look, serendipity. You're magical. You're a loyal, magical being and spirit loves you for that. Did you know it? And any wish that you go over and Throw down that wishing well, you'll get it. The Spirit's telling you they'll give you a sign in your dreams, so take a nap, okay? That's what it was telling you. All right, that's how I'm getting that. Somebody else might get it different, but that's how I'm getting it, so we'll go with it or not. What about Libra, Libra Balance? Libra Balance. What about Libra Balance? Oh, yeah, one more for Libra Balance. 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 Tanky, tanky spirit. Tanky, tanky spirit. Oh, here's what it is. You're going through a dark night of the soul, see? It looks like dark. You're not understanding, and that was in my last reading that I read about dark night of the soul. You can check it out if you want to, you all. And, um, this is about astrology because it has all the signs on it so you're you're birthing you coming you're rising out of this dark dead dreary feeling and re, you regenerate it you planted a seed and look it's growing see it's rising from the ashes you're rising from the ashes you're rising up to be a leader in astrology maybe Ooh, what about that libra balance oh wow i love libra balance yeah, I know what's in my chart. And I told y'all I had the other day, I had either fives or sixes. No, I mean I had six or sevens on teetering, like on Virgo and Libra. So some of my birth charts will say five sixes, or it'll say five sevens. You got me? All right. So I got a lot of balance in me. If somebody's wondering about me and if I'd be somebody good to work with, yeah. Like as a partner, business partner, yeah. I am because I'm balanced. 
and Pisces. Ooh, this is. Ain't that Anubis? This is about your soul. Hang on. And can we have for Taurus? I'm going to go ahead and lay the cards out and then I'll tell it to you. Taurus said. Taurus says. What else about for Taurus? What else about for Taurus? What else about for Taurus? Thank you. And what about for Aquarius Collaborate? What about for Aquarius Collaborate? What about what about for Aquarius Collaborate? What about for Aquarius Collaborate? Can we thank you for that specific spirit? Alright, I am you guys. Alright, so. So you went through a death and rebirth, C8. That's what it is, Scorpio. And you're right above is Pisces. And um, maybe you actually did almost die, but that's how you, you're going to initiate into this spiritual realm and you started syncing things together and. You're blessed. And you was going around and around and around in a karmic cycle. See that? Fibonacci sequence. That's what that means. 25. That's special. And a 22 and an 8. And, but you're very blessed. Alright? You're blessed from going through that spiritual, all that death and rebirth. Because you're coming out a better person. And you released all that karma. You're releasing all that karma, Pisces. That's a good one. And this right here says, Taurus, your said, Taurus, your said, you, you took a gamble. You're gambling on yourself, or you might be going to gamble. You might be playing a lottery or going to watch horses race, you know, and gambling. But it's telling you it's time to go. It's time to go. You need to go the distance. Look, Taurus, you need to get up off your hind end. It's time to go towards that person that you need to or time to leave that person that you need to and go the distance. That's what it's saying. You can do this. You're like a down cheetah. You're very fast and ooh, you're courageous. And so go after what you want. That's, what the, that's all you got to do, Taurus. It's real simple. Oh, look we'll over here at Aquarius. It's a good one. Aquarius. Here, what Aquarius? Here, what Aquarius? You're the yin. Oh, and yang. Who's got the wang? Oh, somebody's got your wang somewhere. See, so you're the yin. And you're going to have extreme luck in whatever you're choosing, Aquarius. See this? Uh, because it's. It's it's your time. See that? It's your time. That's why. You're you're gonna get this because you do have a twin flame. You're the yin and he's the yang. And you're all gonna receive giant blessings. See? You're lucky. You're lucky to this path. You're lucky. It's it was in divine timing, you understand? It's God's time and you're gonna get it. Don't you think you're not well, yes, okay? Now, if y'all like this, go ahead and hit a little like and subscribe. I need to help you guys. I do need to help. I done told y'all. <coughs> and my loyal subscribers, I love y'all and thank you for all y'all's help that you give me. I really do. What is it that this people's mean to say? Let's see what these say. We have a message for Scorpio. Scorpio Bone Collector. So maybe this is someone that practices hoodoo or witchcraft. See that? Bone Collector because that's what they do. They, uh, they like tying up things like that. Or maybe you're um, someone of Indian descent and you all keep all like deer schools and you keep the whole animal because that's how you give your thanks and blessings. You you use all the parts and I love y'all Indians for that. Yeah. 
So this is about your heritage, okay? The things that you've collected in your life and the traits you've collected, okay, is Sagittarius. You're getting encouragement. You're getting encouragement and your wishes is going to come fulfilled. Remember, it done said it. You needed to rest and you'll be getting spirit messages through that rest. And what about Libra, who is going through Dark Knight's soul and turned into this new being and you might be on a star path, star child. Ooh, he'll want it flip for you. During the deep freeze. So somebody might feel like you're cold. Uh, yeah, somebody feels like you're cold because you're not showing your feelings, unknown feelings, past life influences, deep emotions. They're feeling you as cold because you're not telling them your emotions. You're not showing them your hand. And, I mean, that's up to you, I guess. But you need to let them feelings out, honey, because it'll, it'll eat your soul inside. And what did Pisces want to know? You're blessed and you went, you got through all that karma. You're blessed and you got through all that karma. You're coming to life. This is the new you. You're like, oh, wow, I feel joyous and just so much better with myself. You went through a total metamorphosis, you know. And Taurus, you need to go the distance, and it's time to go. It's time to go. And you need to use a talisman. Maybe you have a talisman. Uh, maybe you need to ask your talisman questions, or you wear your talisman. But it's about picking a choice and going to it. And quit hiding from it. And what about Aquarius again? Yin. What about Aquarius? Yin. And you're going to get, have a lot of luck and success in divine timing because you're touching earth. You're planting something new. You're doing things differently, Aquarius. And you're like an earth angel. See your earth angel wings? That's what you are. Go out and touch earth today. Touch earth and feel grounded. And I'm getting ready to go outside and mow. I love mowing. Because I weeded it the other day and I didn't get done and I need to go out there and mow. But that's what you need to do at the moment. She gazes. She gazes. <coughs> and I'm going to give y'all a little message of mine. Here, wait. I'm going to give you all a special one of mine. Now, nobody has my permission to copy these. And if y'all see somebody copy them, let me know, okay? They're angel cards, and no, nobody has them, and I know it's angel gifts, and I've not seen cards like this, so don't let nobody steal my idea. What is for Scorpio? Scorpio? Oh, your angels gave you the gift to overcome all obstacles and challenges. People wonder how you keep getting out of the traps they set for you. Watch out, Mom, there's a trap. Oh, wow. It's saying... Maybe somebody was trying to uh, collect your bones. They wanted to take you plumb out of the race, and the angels guided you away from these, these people, okay? And what about Sagittarius, who feels serendipitous, and they're getting encouragement? Your angels gave you the gift of bringing magic back to dying relationships. You have magical powers within yourself, and it heals the hearts of many people. Poof, poof, magical licious. Oh, yeah, poof, poof, I told you. Go to the wishing well. So you're you're getting encouragement in your love life. Poof, poof, you're magical licious. I love y'all. <laughs> oh, wow, and what about Libra? Libra balance? Libra balance, you need to put me in code and tell them emotions. Your angels gave you the gift to connect to source. You are in tune with yourself and universe and... Follow what self tells you to do because everything is connected. So, since you listen to spirit, you need to listen and tell your emotions, Libra. Or somebody wants to tell them to you, but somebody in your, it's a past life influence and why you're not doing it. Maybe you're scared because you've hurt somebody deeply that's close to you in your family and, and you're needing to tell them whatever you did. And you're coming to life. Ooh, Pisces. 
Round and round, you got out all that karma. Your angels gave you the gift to understand and feel if it's time to go and leave a certain situation. Then listen to spirit and angels and leave the situation. That's how you come to life. Maybe you left somebody in your life so you wouldn't have that karma, karma. Keep getting you good for you. Good for you, Pisces. And what about Taurus? Taurus, you're rolling the dice and you're going to go toward this person because you've been asked and you're telling us when it tells you yes. And 2525, go towards it, 25. <laughs> Do it to us. Oh, wow. Well, your angels gave you the gift of talking with your spirit guides. They always let you know how special you are by giving your, by giving you numerous spiritual gifts. you got numerous ones, Taurus. See? And Aquarius. You're the yin and your yang is around, ain't it? You know? You're touching earth because you're, 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 doing diff, you're doing something new. And it's all in divine's timing. And what angels give a Aquarius? What angels give a Aquarius? Angels give a Aquarius a bunch. <laughs> well, I'm not going to read them all, but your angels gave you a gift to realize how much you can benefit by counting your blessings daily. By counting your blessings each day, you will get your heart's desires. Because your angels gave you the gift to speak your truth. They are proud of you for showing others how to show up in the world as a healed individual that's not scared to tell your truths. That's why they love you, Aquarius. And you're, watch out, Mom. You might be stepping in a trap. Uh, and maybe you're seeing 1010 a lot. And that means a swift change, a fresh and new coming to you. Good things from love and life right now. You're ready to contact your twin. Universe created the perfect circumstance for you and your twin. Well, you're going through a personal development and spiritual awakening and enlightenment and instincts and your intuition and thought. Listen to them. And you're getting giant blessings too. And uh, for you... Sagittarius, you're very encouraging in your magical licious, magical liciousness and your poof poof patch of triple powers. Your angels gave you the gift of being playful like a child, and when you use your childlike creative side, you can turn dreams into reality. So maybe you're realizing this from someone in the spiritual community, and yes, just act like a child and you'll turn your dreams into reality. Trust me. And Libra. Abundance, prosperity, and happiness. You're perfectly aligned with the universe. Troubles are ending. Don't be scared to start again. For twins, also positivity and achievement of set goals. A friend who knows you and loves you the same. 13, 13, maybe you're seeing a lot. That friend is that's connected to you, Lee, but they got these emotions for you. That's what I'm getting. And you're coming to life, and you. Well, spirit, you're coming to life because Pisces, your angels blessed you when they made your hands to heal many. Your hands are a treasure to many people, and they work miracles in others' lives. Looky there. That's what they do. And you come to life because you're blessed, and you know it. And you got out all that karma because you're a new being and spirit told you to leave that down place and you left it because your hands is a miracle okay and what about for taurus what about for taurus taurus you've taken a chance and it you know it's time to go towards what you want and you got to go the distance because you've been asking your talisman and uh you you got the gift to talk with your spirit guides and they tell you and your angels gave you the gift of empathy you can put yourself in other shoes and feel how they felt in different situations because you're an empath see in big shoes you can even put your feet in them big shoes and feel it can't you uh-huh and what about aquarius who is the yin and she's touching earth, planting something new, and it's all in divine's timing, and you're not scared to tell your truths because you count your blessings daily. And what else for it, Aquarius? Oh, wow, Aquarius, because your angels gave you the gift to be a star. All you have to do is envision the life you want to live, and Spirit will bring it to you with hard work and dedication. 
Because the angels gave you the gift to read people's futures. You've shown them this when you was a child predicting certain things to come, and it did. That's why, Aquarius. That's why you're going to be a star. Don't worry. All right? If you're all worried about it, Aquarius, you're going to be. Because it said it. All right? I hope this helps y'all, and I hope y'all hit a little subscribe if you watch this for you guys. I need to help. Can we have a message of mine? Scorpio, somebody is triangulating you with another person, and this is where two people disagree, and a third person gets pulled into the disagreement. So, somebody's trying to trap you up, and... Somebody keeps putting you in a third party, and I I hope that you figure this out. And Sagittarius, you know how to bring a dead relationship back to life because your child out wonder because it's your destiny and not theirs to mess with. That's why. And Libra, somebody is hiding their emotions and feeling really cold at the moment, and a friend might love you. Oh, and this woman uses her looks and charms to lure her men into her. So, Libra woman, Libra man, Libra mans that whoever you're all asking about, that woman uses her looks to charm men. Libra women, you all might be doing that, okay? And quit just using your looks. Clean up your inside. And if it's time to go, go. Your hands is very blessed, Pisces. You're consciously manifesting your person into your life because you focus on it intently. Oh, wow. And anything you want. Is that what it said? Oh, you're coming to life. Ooh, you found out how to alchemize. Good for you. And Taurus, spirit guides will guide you. You know how to put yourself in other shoes. Yeah, nice more jump hurdles to jump and you'll get through them. And you could be a laid back, easy going person. You just like being calm. It's showing others that by being calm, you can live in harmony with your partner. See? Maybe you like going outside and laying in the grass and dirt. I think it feels good in the summertime. It feels cold, don't y'all think? 32, 22. Oh, and Aquarius, um, you are a star. And you speak your truth and you're grateful. And you predict people's futures. <coughs> And there are a lot of things that God will show you that you're not supposed to tell others of because he chose his child to show you how he works. God is good. Oh, wow, you hear that? Oh, yeah, that's what it means, Aquarius. God knows you're good, and he, he tells you, don't tell everything that he told you, okay? <laughs> and something in your mind keeps on creating drama in your family circle, and let go of whatever keeps replaying over and over again in your mind. Okay, Scorpio? Stop letting somebody triangulate you. That's what it is. Stop thinking about somebody. If you know you ain't never going to be able to go to them, stop thinking about them also. Poof, your magic. It's your destiny because you're childlike. What about? Yeah, here's why. Because you're balanced. Because you're balanced, Sagittarius. And uh, you was targeted by a group of people because they thought you could be bullied your entire lives. And not do nothing but take it. And Spirit said, hell no, wrong. They ain't saw a strong woman like you are, Sagittarius, or man. Because it's your destiny. And you see beauty in all things. So these people can't tell you what to do. And somebody uses their looks. Oh, wow, because you let go of the old you and you start embracing the new you and you're shining through. See, you're like a peacock. You're like a peacock, and that's why people say you're so beautiful, Libra, see? Or a person that you're connected to, Libra. Okay? And Pisces. Pisces, you're blessed. Your hands is a blessing, and you know how to manifest. You know how to manifest. What else? This person needs to learn how to give to you and stop taking all the time, Pisces. And Taurus, more hurdles to jump, but you can do it. And you could be a laid back, easy going person. Some, somebody wishes that you was dead at the moment because you're telling a bunch of secrets on people. 
in the world and they hate it. They want to throw an ax at you because you keep jumping over this time and time again. These people still keep coming at you, trying to take you down, and you always jump over it. And you're going to get your heart's desires because God is good. You're a star and you tell people's fortunes. And God is good. It, that was said somebody wanted to join on yeah, because you started learning what real love felt like, and it feels light, fun, abundant, caring, and giving. That's why you know God is good. You know? And somebody, it's somebody's boss wants to build a life with you. He's got intense love for you, and he wants to marry you. I don't know which one of this it is for you all out here. Either Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Sagittarius. In Aquarius, but it's one of you all. Okay. Well, I hope this message helped somebody out there today. I love y'all, and I hope it did. And if it did help, would you please hit subscribe? Just go make you an account. If you don't have an account, just go put your email down, and that's all you gotta do to make an account on YouTube. I'm telling you, you just go put an account. You don't have to put a picture or nothing. It's simple. I love y'all. Peace.